Today, we're going to look at how printer profiles are managed in Simplify 3D. Simplify 3D puts all of the settings you're going to use for a print into something called a process, which is here in the lower left. I can either double click or click Edit Process Settings to open it up. In this case, it's an FFF process, where FFF stands for Fused Filament Fabrication. That's just a fancy name for the type of 3D printing that all of these extrusion-based printers use. This contains all of the settings needed to print a 3D part. Instead of making you configure all of these settings by yourself, you can use the Configuration Assistant, where we do all the hard work for you. The Configuration Assistant can be found in the Help menu, and if you've already set up your online Simplify 3D account, this will pull the latest printer profiles from the cloud. If you're migrating from version 2.2 or earlier, we recommend trying the Configuration Assistant first, rather than importing old profiles, as you've recently made many changes. This will ensure compatibility with the latest features. So open the Configuration Assistant, and then select your printer from the drop-down list. If you don't see your printer listed, scroll all the way to the bottom and select Other. For this example, I'm going to use the LeapFrog Creator Single. So once you select your printer, click Next, and click to Finish. Go to Edit Process Settings to open the FFF Settings window again. The printer profile I've just selected now appears in the drop-down. These settings that are loaded here are the recommended settings from our team at Simplify 3D. So right out of the box, you have a really good starting point. These profiles handle many settings behind the scenes, but also allow you to easily change several high-level options like material, desired quality level, infill percentage, and if your model needs support material. For example, I'm going to change the infill percentage from 20% to 40%. And now you can see that the word modified has appeared after the profile name, and that reflects that I've just changed something. At this point, I could click OK and proceed to print my wrench model with 40% infill. Let's say I did do that, and the print went really well. Now I want to keep those settings for future use. So there are a couple easy ways to do that. If I open the process settings and click Update Profile, the software will overwrite the original LeapFrog profile with my changes. But if I wanted to keep the original profile intact, I could just click Save as New and create a new profile. I'll name it LeapFrog 40% Infill and click OK to save. That way, I can save the settings that work really well. So as you experiment with which settings result in the best prints, you'll probably build up quite the list of modified profiles and need to clean it out from time to time. That's where this Remove button really comes in handy. I can select profiles I'm not using anymore and click OK to remove them from my list. There's one more thing I want to show you today regarding profiles. The software saves your profiles for you, but if you need to export the actual file, for example, to share with a friend, you can go to the File menu and click Export FFF Profile. As you can see, you can also import FFF profiles should you want to. One more thing. If you ever want to get back to the recommended settings from our team, just go to the Configuration Assistant and reload the profile. And that's how printer profiles are managed in Simplify 3D.